the first person when I'm going to try with Papa Bear and Semhar and all these girls. It's like, this is insulting. We were really happy with Bobby John on our tribe. A man is just stronger than a woman is, and it makes it you know, easy on the eyes around the tribe. So that's always plus. Rich, you know, homosexual people tend to talk about their homosexuality all the time, and it's really annoying to me. I was big mouth and the whole time coming over here, but being with homosexuals and lesbians. And he was going to tell me he was queer then. A fat naked fag with a million dollars is even funnier. We got an overweight gay naked man walking around, and no one seems to let it bother him. I don't know. The biggest problem we have is we got two cracks in water tubs. They're putting on damn beads on a necklace. Generation X. They're immature. They're trying to get under their skin, and it's working. Feeling righteous? I'm trying to seek, soak up your wisdom, Doc. That's all I'm doing. Just work hard, man. It's a key to life. He wants to learn wisdom. He's not learning it that way. You can't create a work ethic when they've never had a work ethic. This is Generation X. This is definitely Generation X. I'm glad I'm 46 years old, and I'm glad I'm not part of it. I think it was a bad move. Cass will fly in the face of strategy just because of how she feels. She'll go basically wherever her estrogen takes her, not where her brain takes her. Clearly, I am the strong girl on the team. Why would they want to vote me off first? It's retarded. Bobby John's in the car kicking his leg, cheering like a freaking girl. I want us to knock him out. It annoys me when I watch him win. He cheers like a freaking girl. He's so gay. He gets so gay. <laughs> I can't stand it. Though. Right, like, get over it. Right. Okay, I gotta admit something, you guys, that I haven't admitted. I'm really a man. <laughs> oh, I knew it! So, you gonna let me talk or what? Speak on. All right. You and your posse ran the tribe like it was a gang. When I first saw John, I thought he was a big time queer. I really don't know. He seems kind of rough and tough Boss over here, but he does all the cooking. So, I don't know. I won't be sleeping next to him tonight. Oops. Not the first night, anyway. Well, I think that's just a natural transition in life. Um, ladies in the kitchen and the men take care of business and do all the fishing. Um, no. That resorts back to thousands and thousands of years. Like, it's right here. We're in the jungle. We're back in the good old days. And uh, it just, they naturally went to their duties, which is cooking and cleaning. And uh, actually, I got some clothes. I got to have them washed, too. Let me go out and talk to the ladies. Um, so now I'm starting to realize that I've got these sexy young men on my tribe. What's going on over there, Colby? Oh, I love you so much. It feels night, wow. too. People are starting to fade off and get some much-needed rest. That's what we have to have to stay strong and compete. Is that the satellite or a shooting star? Sugar, she just start chatting up again. And not whispering, but chatting up loud. You guys are all spooning. I don't want to spoon. I want to... <laughs> and then you could start to feel and see everyone kind of wrestle awake. But I couldn't even roll over without her rolling over and putting her arms around me. Or then when I would just lay there still like I was in a coffin... She grabbed my hands and put them on her. Definitely. I'm being flirted with. I'm just not interested. Back to that corner. Let's go. Go in the corner where we were. Jenna was just a quivering, shaking little leaf, and she's finally like, collapsing. Her. Please get better soon. Like Jeff Probst, I don't know what you're proud of at this point. Like I used to fucking love your show, and then I looked like I was already on it. And people asked me if I just got off Survivor. So. As a fucking survivor, you don't know anything about surviving, bro. Cancel survivor, cancel survivor. Fuck you. Like, seriously, you made me sick, dude. Like, you must be so proud of your basement and, like, all your memorabilia. Like, how many people have died so far? Like, why didn't you teach him how to do his taxes? Like, why is there so much gay hate and why is Boston Rob, like on this season, like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, all of you.